Hey everyone, it's Val here, and today's video is going to be a real techniques first impression kind of video. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've actually used this thing probably three times at most, so um, I do. Oh, actually, let me just. So I'm actually using my phone to record. I thought I should start using my phone to record because it's the better quality compared to my compared to my compared to my um you know what compared to my actual camera. So, so I'm using my phone. Um, now uh, this is I'm just going to be doing a first impression kind of video on the first tech the real techniques by Sam and Nick Miracle Complexion Sponge. And it's just this orange sponge. Um, it has a point here and then a flat edge here and then all around it's just round. So I've actually already let me open my window. Sorry. So I've actually already dampened my beauty blender. Now um, I'm just gonna read off what's on the box first. So um so let's go ahead and do a little, you know, a little um, show and whatever. So the flat edge is actually used for to contour around eyes and nose. The tip, which is up here, is used to cover imperfections. So you can use, um, or, well, you can, what I like to use the tip for is for my under my eyes because I feel like it just gets it better. Sorry, I just don't want my eyes. I didn't prepare for this video actually. Whatever. So, and then all around the side, any side, you can use for your cheeks and just the big areas of your, um, of your face. So what I like to do is I like to use this area specifically, like, under my eye, and then I like to use this part up here for over my face, and I don't know why I'm using my mirror when I have a phone right here, but, um, so yeah, you can just use this part for around your face, your big, the big areas, or you can use both for just this area. It doesn't really matter. And then also, so you don't necessarily like, have to always have your beauty blender damp or your sponge damp. It doesn't need to be damp, it can be dry. But it says use a damp or use damp beauty blender for or sponge for a dewy glow or a dry for a full coverage look. So you don't need to have it damp. Now a lot of I think I've heard I've heard a few people say that to keep keep it damp because that's what you're supposed to do. But this says otherwise, so I'd listen to the packaging. Um, and then, if this is ideal for liquid foundation, now I'm pretty, I, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised, I mean, usually, I think this is way better for liquid foundation, not a powder foundation, that's just my input, and then, um, you should replace this for at least every one to three months. Um, now, I haven't replaced my last beauty blender for at least more than a year, and it worked fine, so I don't know if you really have to listen to that. Um... But this is a little thing that it comes in, it just comes in this little thing where it says Real Techniques by Sam and Nick Base Miracle Complexion Sponge. And that's what it comes, the little packaging it comes in. So now I, to do this, I'm going to do a little tutorial and I want to show you guys what or how it covers my face. So I don't want to put makeup on my full um, face which will be fine so you guys can see a difference from what it looks like on half of my face or half covered half not covered um so i'm going to choose this side of my face which is my right side mainly because you guys can see that this little red pimple kind of thing so i'm, I'm going to just show it on this side and then also this is you know my dominant side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to not even prime because i don't want to you know i don't want to wear makeup right now but um so I'm just going to take my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and Biscay, and I think I might have grabbed a bit too much, but that's okay. I'm just going to put that much onto my face, little dots. Out on my forehead, so I'm just going to take whatever is on my forehead and move it onto my the rest of this area. And 
then what I'm going to do, I think that should be enough. I'm going to take this side. bouncy kind of look and sometimes like this. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell a difference, but here's the makeup side and here's the non-makeup side. You guys probably can't because it, the makeup, you know, it's, it's matches my skin. But here it is. I honestly, I don't, I'm still deciding on whether I like it or not. Um, I don't know if I like this sponge. I've used it a few times. I don't know. I really don't know my opinions right now. This is just a first impressions. I do like the sponge, the shape of the sponge, but I'm still experimenting with it and trying to figure out how, if I like it and um, if I would keep it. But right now I'm just going to, you know, just keep using it and see if, what I think about it and then maybe final decision. Um, so, you know, I like it a little bit. I think it, I think it does cover your face. Um, this was, right here was redder than it was earlier, but now it's not so red. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna complain that much, um, but this is what it looks like. And let's go ahead and take, um, thumbnail shot. Oh, I think I already take a lot of pictures. Okay, so um, the last thing that I wanted to say was how to clean your beauty blender, any makeup sponge. So I actually got this blender cleanser solid by Beauty Blender at Sephora, and it's just this um, it's just this soap that cleans your beauty blender. Now what I do is whatever or whatever side I have the makeup on or any side, I just what I do is I just swirl it around in the soap and then rinse it underwater. Um, and I've been doing this for a while and I really love this Beauty Blender wash. And it smells kind of good. I don't like soap, but um, I still think it smells kind of good. Um, but that's what I use for my beauty, to clean my Beauty Blender. Or my, I guess, now the Real Techniques um, sponge. So that's what I've been enjoying. And yeah, if you, this, you found this video a little bit helpful, well actually, hold on. Um, also, I think this beauty blender was six dollars or maybe seven, and I got this at Ulta. Um, so yeah. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys did, then go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I try and post videos every single Friday. If I don't, then it's because I was probably busy doing something. So yeah. And I, if you guys would like to, you guys could subscribe and just watch some of my videos, and that would be very nice of you. And um. If you guys have any comments, then go ahead and leave any comments down below in the comment section, and I will try and reply to them. So I hope you guys have a great day, evening, whatever, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!